Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Shasta County Arts Council's second podcast. We are here doing an artist spotlight with Chuck Prudhomme. Hello, Chuck. Hey, how are you doing? Nice to be here. Yeah, I'm doing well. Um, so, Chuck, you are an artist. You yes. are a painter. I'm a painter, an oil painter in particular. Yeah, how long have you been painting? I have been painting for 21 years <laughs> after I retired from flying helicopters. Yeah, we'll, and we'll talk more about that later. Yeah, sure. We've been chatting for a bit here before, uh, before we got rolling, and Chuck has some awesome stories. Uh, 21 years, how, how did you get started? Well, uh, quite frankly, I had a uh, cardiac arrest and a seven-way heart bypass surgery, and I went into a pretty severe depression for about a year. We're wondering what I was going to do after flying helicopters. What do you do after you fly helicopters for a lifetime? Not much in my world, so I went and took an art course, and that's the history of it all, and I started painting outdoors. A plein air, I'm a plein air painter, primarily. Yeah. Wow. Um, I mean, I think that'll speak to a lot of artists, right? It's like, when do you start being an artist? Well, you know, you just, you kind of need something. Yeah, you do. You absolutely do. And I've spent most of my life out in the bush around the world, from Africa to Antarctica, Greenland, and I'm, I figured out a couple of two, that travel bug that I have with uh, painting. Well, uh and, and you're talking about your travel, and this travel, uh, this wasn't purely recreational, right? Um, you are a uh, veteran. Yes. I was drafted out of college, and one would think that would be the last thing you'd want to do. But in my world, it actually turned out to be very beneficial. It took me, I flew helicopters, two tours in Vietnam. I, uh, then I got tired of fighting wars and switched to the Coast Guard and did search and rescue off the Northern California coast. And then I spent three years flying helicopters off of icebreakers in Antarctica and Greenland and the North Slope, Prudhoe Bay, all in support of the National Science Foundation. Yeah, so I kind of want to tie those two together. Uh, do you find any overlap between your uh, service in the military and your art? Is there any sort of uh, relation between the two? You know, that's a good question. I, I've, I've never really thought about it in that way, but I suppose, now I do some um, moody sort of paintings, and I suppose some of that moodiness would tie into Vietnam, which uh, was not a very enjoyable experience. Um, I suppose that, that would be a connection. But uh, I, I, more importantly, I think the connection to the natural world for me is more important than anything. And it, it, it's a counterpoint to combat. And uh, that, I suppose that would be the connection you'd be talking about. Yeah, that's, that's really beautiful. Um, so when looking at your work, uh, it's uh, the folks around here say that it's, it's mostly impressionist work. Uh, could you speak to what is impressionism? Uh, what are the sort of techniques? I know you teach classes at the North Valley Art League. Right. Um, so yeah, maybe just uh, talk a little bit about that. Uh, you know, it's, it's interesting. I get a lot of comments in this part of the world and most of them are on the street. When I'm painting on the street or out in Mount, Mount Lassen or what have you, and the question is always, when are you going to finish? And my response is, I'm done. And that's probably the best way to describe impressionism. It's called representational impressionism. So you, you actually, you can tell it's Mount Lassen or a, a trees or a cliffs, uh, but there's, you, you don't paint every leaf in the tree. And I learned from people a lot better than me in how to paint fast. And most of my paintings are an hour and a half. Quick, because you feel you want to paint what you feel and not replicate what's out in front of you. Now, some people do photorealism, which is perfectly fine. In my classes, I teach people to paint from your soul, not not don't paint just like me. It, 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 it would be a pretty boring world if we were all painted like Chuck. So uh, that's what impressionism is: a quick version of you know representation of what's in front of you. So, Chuck, I am. Uh... I, I paint, but it's very abstract. I just throw colors on a canvas and scrape it around until it looks yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, but what, what I'm hearing from you, so I say that because I, 
I'm not coming into this conversation necessarily as an artist, but what I'm hearing actually is a little bit of a, I'm getting some Bob Ross vibes. <laughs> I'm getting like, like, you know, yeah, paint, paint from the soul. You don't have to paint every leaf, just, you know, go on. Uh, well, I suppose that's one way to look at it. And Bob Ross taught a lot of thousands of people how to paint. I, I just like being part of that world out in nature. And I've had people ask me, don't you ever do abstracts? And I tell them, I do an abstract every time I paint. And how do you mean that? Well, if you cut out a four inch square out of any one of my paintings, you'll find an abstract. It's a lot of color and a lot of brush strokes. And so that's that's pretty much where it is. It's a, a, an abstract version of what's, what's out there in the real world. So I, I read, uh one of your, your your bio when you had uh when you were a part of this recent exhibit we had at the Shasta County Arts Council and yeah it sort of talked about um you being just like out in nature and that's sort of where you do it you kind of just yeah. go out somewhere exactly and you and you paint for an hour and a half and, yeah. and you like to complete it there most of the time I complete it on the spot however there are many times when I'll look at it in a studio and I may touch it up here and there but I like to do it all it's called uh a la prima, which means all in one setting, an yeah. hour and a half, because you feel that energy, you know, there you get so hung up and I don't even know where I'm going when I paint. Something will jump out at me and I'll pull over and start painting or I'll hike in and paint. And when it's done, it's done. And there's no, you know, actual beginning or end. That's really cool. It, it makes it so it's new and it's fresh and it's exciting. It's not like, it's not like you're just writing the alphabet or solving an equation yeah. you're you're creating yeah it, it's i don't know it's a very enjoy i'm in the bush all the time anyway i kayak every day i hike I, you know my, my whole life's been out in the woods and out in the wilds and that's where i prefer to be away from all the craziness in these today's world for sure yeah so i couple that with painting and it's to me that's the perfect day is to kayak in the morning at dawn and go out and paint in the afternoon yeah <laughs> right on well uh hey so your class at the north valley art league which is over in uh caldwell park, caldwell park. um right. i actually just visited there we did a little shoot there of the gallery that's oh, up right now Great. um it's beautiful what's the name of the house the carter house? carter house carter house it's a really cool place um you do figure drawing sessions uh well, actually we have figure drawing upstairs here at shasta county arts council and it's just, it's not a class. It's a gathering of people. Technically, we're calling it a class, but it's a gathering of people that want to paint figures, which is a very difficult thing to do. But if you can paint a figure, you can paint anything, believe me. And it trains your eye. But uh, the one in North Valley Art League I teach, uh, it's painting from a photograph as if you were painting outdoors. Oh, very cool. Loose and fast. Yeah. Gosh, I uh, I, <laughs> I feel a little selfish now that I'm here talking about it. I'm like, okay, now I want to go. You know? um, <laughs> oh, come on. Um, figure drawing is here. Uh, yes. What what days and time? It's here uh, at Thursdays twice a month, 5 to 7 okay. p.m. And we paint from live models. And it's mostly clothed or partially clothed. Some people in town figure, oh, it's just a bunch of nudists up there. No, not necessarily. It's a good opportunity for anybody that wants to try to paint a human form, which is quite difficult, but it's also it also trains your eye Yeah. for any kind of painting you choose to do. Right on. Um, and North Valley Art League is second Sunday uh, every month. At what time? It is 12 to 4. Oh, very cool. And people can paint from their own photographs or they can use mine or they can step outside the gallery and paint. Right you got a beautiful front. view right it's out there. Beautiful. You got a big open yeah. green pasture it's and gorgeous. trees. Especially now, the colors. It's yeah. wonderful. So, and we get quite a few people. Uh, you know, it's not because I'm, you know, rich and famous or anything. It's just a nice gathering for people to learn how to paint just like I learned how to paint. Yeah, and I, you know, I don't do this for a living. I, I'm a retired guy. You know, I flew helicopters with Cal Fire. My last job was for the hospital here in town, uh, EMS, and then retired from the Coast Guard. Uh, I do this for the pure joy of it, and it's really just my social life more than anything. Yeah. Let's see. You are a member of the Arts Council here. Uh, how have you enjoyed being a member here? And, you know, would you encourage people to get involved with the Arts Council and come and hang out with us over here on Market Street? Absolutely. Uh, number one, the location is exceptional, as is North Valley Hartley. But in the last, I have to say, uh, 
in the last couple of years, this place is becoming way more dynamic. Nothing against anybody who was here previously. There's a lot going on here. It's becoming more and more exciting, different shows, different activities. It seems to be more the hub of the artistic world in Reading. And the more art, more culture we get in Reading, the better off we'll be for sure. So. Yeah, it's it's nice to hear you say that as someone who's part of, you know, this new wave of people coming in and working yeah. here. Um, man, we we just we want to see you. We want to make art. We want to display your art. We want to spotlight you. We want to talk to you. Um, gosh, we're in a really cool part of the world here. Yeah. And uh, and there's just beauty and nature and art everywhere. And uh, and uh, so just come on in, get involved and let's. Uh, Let's hang out. Let's let's promote each other's stuff and let's just uh, let's just have a good time and be nice. Well, and I think that's a good that's a good thought. It's a very important thought to promote one another. Uh, you know, that's that's the way art towns grow by promoting one another. It's not a personal. This is my world and not yours. It should involve. And it's not just painting. It's dancing, it's, uh, you know, whatever, uh, you know, there's a lot of things, yoga goes on upstairs, yeah. figure drawing, uh, there's a lot going on and a lot of potential. Yeah, and, and thank you for coming here and being the first person that's, you know, <laughs> taking taking on the, the whole artist spotlight hey, thing we're going to okay. do. Uh, okay. And if you're watching and you're an artist, uh, get in contact and, and we can sit down and chat for a bit and show off what, what you've been working on and where you're teaching or what, you, what, what you've got going on. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, anything else you wanna you wanna say before we uh, before we say our farewells? Well, there's art being displayed, and I've lived in Reading 29 years, and we are light years away from where we were when I first moved here in terms of culture and art. There's art being displayed at the airport every three months from mm -hmm. a local artist, and I happen to run that deal in New City Hall in mm -hmm. here in North Valley Art League. So we're rapidly expanding the world of art in Reading. It's not just painting, it's sculpting, it's a little bit of everything. Yeah, and there's a lot of names to keep an eye out for. The Art Hunger, art uh, hunger yeah, Carlo Henry, fun. Mario, our friends, yep. they they put up booths and do pop-ups and you know work out of the Odd Fellows building. I've seen art over at the, the Sheraton Mosaic. Yep. Sometimes they feature people there. Absolutely. There's a lot of cool places there to really check are. stuff out. It's getting more and more and more. And I think that's very important in Reading, in anywhere for that matter. That's the foundation of society is art. Yeah. Well, right on, Chuck. Uh, this has been great. Thank you for joining us uh, for the Shasta County Arts Council Reading Cultural District podcast. Uh, my name is Daniel Hill, and this is Chuck Perdome. Chuck Perdome. And. Uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for joining us and we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.